Thanks for tuning in in this video about Skyrim with Requiem. The purpose of the video today is to explain how to install the AZ Tweaks mod for Requiem in Skyrim Special Edition. First off, why might you want to do that? Skyrim Special Edition is considerably better optimized for modern gaming machines, so you're likely to get better performance, less crashes all around, good things compared to old version of Skyrim, which the official version of Requiem is still only supporting. Why might you need a guide like this? Well, what we're trying to do is install a fan-made patch, AZ Tweaks, for an old version of Requiem which has been unofficially ported over to Special Edition without any support from the current mod team. So there's files that are scattered all over the place in different locations and personally I spent like a day and a half trying to figure out how to do this. I got it most of the way there and then after some help from the people in the Requiem Discord, many thanks to those guys, I was finally able to figure it out. And so I was hoping for other people who might want to skip some of those steps, uh, this would be helpful because it's really not that complicated once you understand how to do it. So check out the video description for links to the various things I'll be using as resources. As I go through this guide, uh, a caveat at the start, I'm assuming you have basic knowledge of how to, ex how to install Requiem, the basic version, because uh, there are lots of other guides out there, so if you're unclear on parts of that, you can fill in your understanding elsewhere, and uh, that's, that's beyond the scope of what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but hopefully this will just answer the specific question of how do you install AZ tweaks in uh, Skyrim Special Edition. So, step one, get yourself over to the Lover's Lab page where you can get Requiem for Skyrim Special Edition. These are unofficially ported over, so they come with a few bugs, but for the most part, they work well. This is the version you want, Requiem 1.9.4.1. Just download this entire file here. Please note that the Lover's Lab page is not safe for work. If you were to scroll up, you would see some uh, banners, which you probably wouldn't want to have in mixed company, so don't open this page at work. The files, however, are perfectly safe. So, download Requiem 1.9.4.1 full for Skyrim Special Edition. You'll notice that further down here are these patches pages, which link to various other resources. You do not want those. Don't go there. Most of those patches are for Requiem versions 3 and forward, um, and they're not all perfectly labeled, so you can easily get yourself confused and create an install which breaks and does not run for you. So ignore all of this stuff, just get Requiem 1.9.4.1. Then go over to your favorite mod organizer. I personally use Vortex because I like the user interface, but mod organizer to uh, whatever you prefer to use and go through and do the steps for installing Requiem. Uh, if you are unclear on that for Requiem version 3.2 and older, you can look at the developer instructions. All of these instructions still work for special edition for the most part, even though uh, they were originally intended for legendary or old Skyrim. You will still need to have uh, all official DLCs. Go and get Skyrim Script Extender 64, which is available up here. Uh, so make sure you have that installed. Uh, make sure you've got the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, and make sure that you have a Java runtime environment so that you can complete the install. Uh, if you have questions about that, just run through the directions which are provided by the Requiem developers. Now, you have Requiem installed to your chosen mod manager, and you've selected whichever options that you like. As you are going through and installing it, make sure you also get uh, you check the boxes so that you include the bug fixes and stuff. All of that comes packed in with Requiem 1.9.4.1, the conversion which is done uh, over on Lover's Lab. Uh, so you'll have this installed in your mod manager. Next step, go over to Nexus Mods and get yourself the AZ tweaks for Requiem uh, SSE. You can go and download this file, install it with your chosen mod manager. 
Also note that there are some requirements in order for this to run correctly. So go and get yourself the engine fixes, make sure you have the unofficial patch, get acquisitive soul gems. Uh, you have just gotten the port of Requiem 1.9.4 and go and get yourself minor arcana. Uh, so you will also go and download this file and install it with your chosen mod manager. Note that there is a link to these uh, optional patches. Unless you're doing a very large load order, you probably won't need those, uh, but you, and some of them will be redundant or overlap with what we're trying to do next. So if you need it and you find your load order is getting a little bit big, you can check here for more compatibility patches. You very possibly won't need them. Next step, go over to the Dropbox that's maintained by Lil Mofo, the guy who did the uh, conversion from AZ Tweaks over to Special Edition. Check out his Dropbox. He has a large compilation of relevant patches for different versions of Skyrim with Special Edition for Requiem. Go over to Requiem 194 and AZ Tweaks patches and go and get all the appropriate patches for what you want to be running. At the very least, you probably want to be grabbing the one Requiem uh, Dragonborn patch so that you can go through that content, grab the AZ Tweaks uh, patch for the Dragonborn patch, and then just whatever else you feel like you need depending on your load order. Uh, grab whatever you need from here and download it and then use your chosen mod manager to install those files. The next step is to sort your load order. And be aware, if you run Loot or any other automatic sorting program, you're going to end up with a jumbled mess because you have all these custom patches that Loot doesn't know where to place, so your load order will not work well if you automatically sort it. So loosely what you probably want to do is just have your early loading plugins. What I did is I put together all of my Requiem stuff into one group, make sure that you have the Requiem Bug Smasher Edition loading immediately after Requiem. Uh, when I first ran loot, the Bug Smasher was way down in the load order, which is bad. It will overwrite things that you would rather have it not do, so make sure that comes right after Requiem. Then put in whatever Requiem patches that you're using, put in whatever prerequisites that you have for AZ Tweaks, then put in your AZ Tweaks patches to follow that, and then just whatever stuff that you want to have fall in at the end. The final step is to go and run the rectificator and generate your Requiem for the indifferent patch so that it all comes together and you'll be able to play the game. One thing that I ran into as an error is if it's not the first time you've run the rectificator, this is an error I've seen that I think is tied to Requiem 1.94, is you can get a hang up as the patcher is trying to run. It'll spit out some incomprehensible error code at you. But the solution to this, which I found through some trial and error, is if you go into your Requiem game files and delete the file called Actor Variations, and this is located in your Requiem install folder in the, uh, within the game files, and then there's a backup of it which is hidden in your My Documents, My Games files, which you also have to delete. Get rid of the Actor Variations text file and then rerun the Rectificator and it should work fine for you. And that is it. You are now happily playing the AZ Tweaks mod for Requiem in Special Edition. Have a great time. I will say, if you do run into issues, I am not the right person to ask for tech support. I figured a lot of this out through either trial and error or through the help of the very wise people over in the Discord server for Requiem. So if you need tech support, go and ask the Requiem Discord server and you'll probably get a faster and more accurate response than you would get from asking me. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next Requiem video.